Right, this is uh, a view that I, I, I painted, I think it's the last acrylic I did, but from a different angle. We hadn't quite walked up to the path that was along here. We had to do a bit of clambering, but uh, it's Bosham, Bosham, West Sussex, near Chichester. And it's, it's a very, very much painted uh, church, a couple of buildings here. I bought this brush at uh, the Art in Action a couple of weeks ago. I haven't used it yet. I, I, I bought a hake as well, a new hake. It's only four pounds. Uh, this was 25 pounds. It's a number 14, 14 Kalinsky Sable. Um, artist uh, brushes, www. Well, it's, it might be a second, I don't know, but for £28, for £25 for a number 14 uh, sable of Kalinsky quality, top quality. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to still do wet in wet. I'm not going to... This paper is not really suitable for painting on straight away. So I'll see how much water it holds. That's just doing that. Oh, look there. That's a lot more than... Uh, than the nylon mix equivalent, so let's just get it all over. And this was a grey day, so we'll do a bit of that. Uh, this might be a disaster if it is, you won't see it that time. I'm painting upright as you can see, but oh, you can't see, I forgot to zoom you up. Oh dear. Ah, well, let's do that again. Right, uh, a, I did a bit of a drawing on it. Okay, so I'm just wetting her. we to go over it, give it a good, good wet. It's a very dry day. Today, um, when I really walked along here, it was very dull, but very lovely. Now, I've got my palette here. I'm going to put me, my... Uh, model up on my desk. Right, okay, I've got my palette. I haven't used it for several weeks now, as you know. So I've got to try and please everybody, but I am enjoying the acrylics. I haven't done those for, for, for a long time. Just, I've, I've, wet, I've, I've just given the, the palette a bit of a spray just, just to soften the paints a little bit. Right, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll go in with a bit of bit of grey. So we'll use a bit of blue, a bit of red. Ah, oh, but uh, see how you forget, look. A bit of uh, yellow ochre, or raw sienna, as it is. Wash all over. Now let's just, just put that in. I'll reclip as I go. So you lose your feel for watercolors if you just use the harder paints. Well, it's a harder than the opaque. It's a totally different approach watercolor. Okay, let's just now. I want a bit of grey, so a bit of blue and. Uh, Dark overhead, so it's just on the red side. Now, just nice and lighter than that. Don't forget, you need a cloth to t soak up the excess. Put a bit of shadow under that. Totally different. I've never used a brush of this quality before. That's just a little bit dark there. I don't want to go in quite so dark with that there. It's 
Şimdi bakın boş yine. Tamam, pişirip mi abi uça yemeye? Uh, well, that doesn't look too bad. I, I'm going to put in some some green now, so I'll use a bit of paint grey. A bit of lemon yellow, a bit of red. Just put these in fairly, fairly light. Take some moisture off of that. A bit of burnt umber, a bit of yellow. Light grass under that. Well, let's uh, put a sienna in there, I think. Turning up a bit quick. I have to change that. That's my tablet. Actually, I'll use a smaller one now because that is, if it's dry, it's, it uh, opens up. So I've got another one I bought. This one, probably number eight. So we'll uh, see what we have, what we can do with this one. Bush on it. Come down here. Lighter grasses. But I just want to thicken up the greens here. That's quite nice. This one's fairly high. Okay. Right, let's put in some... You can't see the path here, so I'm just going to put in some lighter grasses. Down here. Okay. And then we've got a lot of foliage in there, so we want a darker green or heavier green. So let's. Uh, a lot of rocks are kind of down here. That they've been put there to protect the coast. See, I'm so used to the hay doing all of this. This is a much harder way when you're not used to it. It's like everything, you get, you get used to a way of working and it takes a while to, to use different tools. Oh, let's just get some where the rocks are going to go.
I'm going to do the uh, the card trick with the rocks. I want some darker green in here. I'm going to This is a sort of seaweedy, I think, at the edge of these rocks. So let's just get the green. I'm mixing a lot of burnt sienna in with the greys and, and the lemon yellow here. Mm, right, there's a bit of a, a bit of shadow here. And then we've got the shore, come out here, salt marshes. Uh, we've got a, a line of darker trees on that horizon there by that house. Uh, let's come down there. Conveniently covering up some of the buildings. A bit of the uh, salt marshes here. Um, I'll do that background, I think. So it's blue, a bit of red. Uh, just. Clean some of this out. It's dry, but it's the angle we're working here is a bit. And we can put a bit of dark. Right, I'll straighten that up in a minute when, when we were when it's dry. I want to get some more darks in some of this now. So I'm mixing a bit of blue in with a black or a grey, paints grey. Just get darker in there. And then a bit more dark on top. It's just the dark just peering over the lighter trees. in there. Uh, a bit darker in there I think. Uh, the roofs, sienery roofs, but slightly grey sienery. Let's just Ooh, got it on my elbow. I think I could really do with raising this up a bit. But I was going to do a, another acrylic, but uh, I thought, no, let's, let's stick with, with a watercolour because you know, I know you're, you're missing them. That roof was quite pronounced that side, it, was, it wasn't parallel, there was a sort of a, oops, a veranda. Don't be like that. But this one did come down 
lower than that bit, so we're probably just a little bit wrong there, but I'm labouring here. So let's just put a bit of, bit of light on there. Oh, it doesn't look right. I had a bit of a lousy week one way or the other. The toilet system in my loft here wouldn't shut down, so we had to change that. And the part that we bought from our DIY superstore, P and Q, was faulty a lot. There's a and all that we took took the part back yesterday. They were all the bags have been interfered with, so it wasn't just a new problem. But it was a bad, bad lot, and it caused me a lot of grief on Thursday with all Friday with my neighbour who came over and tried to help. For three hours we were labouring at it, trying this, that, and the other, getting soaking wet. All because a little part was the wrong. Was wrong. Oh, I just want to take that out there. Now this, the, the, the roof, I, I'm not sure what that was, that is, singly, so I'll try carefully put it in. <sighs> this roof on the church is a shingle, it also flares at the base, like that, it's like a witch's hat. And we put the shadow on one side. Right. Well, not to. Uh, Right, I'm going to put in some rocks in there now. I hope that's dry. It's all dry. So, back to the big brush and some nice colours now. Some siennas. Ooh, a bit of blue in there. Some Grey. Lousy angle, isn't it? Right, well, I hope that stays a bit wet, but I want a lot of colour. So when I do the rocks, right, take the brush and get the card, and then we'll Best way of painting rocks, I know. The bigger as we come here. Just to show tumbly. Here you go, all your shadows. We can always put, put a bit more shadow back in there. Right, uh, I want to put in a little bit of very faintest grey. Oh, no, no, before I do it. No, 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 no. Um, loosen oh, that horizon. It's just a bit, bit naff, isn't it? So we'll uh, change that. So 
and that's right I'll just do a bit of this foreground so we've got it's just a shingly pebbly beach shovel a bit of burnt umber a bit of grey that's just And we can put a bit of texture in that. We'd probably do that with a bristle brush or something. That'd be a bit of a departure, wouldn't it? Bristle brush, then we might be a harvest with a bit of plastic card now. We do have lots of it, so. photo again uh, well we've got some good dark greens in here in sort of shadowy bits so let's I'll use the smaller the number eight I am enjoying using them I've never used a saber before So that will just highlight the top of those rocks, hopefully. The texture on there. Slightly bigger bushes. Well, they're not bushes, they're just sort of grass and mounds and general rough stuff. I'll just put that on there. Don't overdo it, Dave. Right. Uh, I'm going to let that go. I'm just going to put some little some little boats and things in there. Could do with a rigger. That's just this possum key around the corner. Right, uh, I'll lift out some some boats, some sails, using my half inch brush in the dark here, in the dark paint, shall I say. We did have a lovely week here. We go there most years. Well, we're at Southport actually, camping in our trailer. Absolutely gorgeous, so peaceful and lovely and right I'm gonna leave that unpainted there. Uh, I can't see any oh there's a bit of a little window. Um, well it's different isn't it? I quite I'm, I'm gonna say I'm over enamored but it's uh, 
I want to do this bit of texture. A bit of a window in with something there. Right. Um, I'm going to use this uh, brush that I've been demonstrating in acrylic. Just a few sort of pebbly things. Just some randomly stuff. Oops! <laughs> I'll keep you out of this. Well, that's experiment. Look, it's gone everywhere. Just... Well, it was a good try, wasn't it? But it's better than painting the things because they look they look staged, they're stilted. Well, when that dries out, I'll be a bit lighter than that, especially if I just dab it. And we can put a bit of seaweed and stuff uh, with my green my brush. Uh, just all sort of stuff you find on a Rough, rough shore. Well, I'm gonna let that go. I'm, I'm, I'm just fiddling. Right. Back to the critics Monday, I think. So it's good. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Yeah. Always sign your work. But I'm a little buoyed. Or two. Do. Simple sky anyway. I don't, I'm, I'm not displeased with it. I, I just as a way back into the watercolours, but using completely different brushes, which I'm not used to. We'll uh, put it in, in the uh, light coloured mouth. I think whatever that is. Oh, that is. Uh -huh. Bosom, bosom. Don't know where my blue mouth is. Anyway, well that that's it. That's uh, let's just come down a bit. That's just the uh, the walk along here. It's as good as I can do at the moment. I hope you're quite so happy with that. Oh, there's the off the key, and just the foreshore, Bosom Church. Just a mess of trees, and then there are the rocks, just thrown down to just bolster the the whole area. When the tide comes, and there's a road that uh, goes behind these houses or buildings here. And it, it nearly every day gets covered, or a couple of times a day. So if you leave your car there too long, well, you've ruined it. You've lost an expensive piece of equipment. And there we are. Well, have a nice weekend, folks, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.